This is a Ryobi RM480EX that I bought in 2018. It was a used unit when I bought it, and the batteries lasted until last season. What happened is the charger that plugs in here failed because I put it on a timer and it failed. So what I'm going to do is replace these AGM batteries. These are 100 amp hour batteries with lithium iron phosphate. So here is the process. You have to take off the back cover and unplug things and the Sanderson plugged. I am going to use again, but I'm not using the original charger because it didn't work. I'm going to use the lithium iron phosphate charger I got from uh, Battery Hookup. Not Battery Hookup, but uh, yeah. Signature Solar, I think. That's where I got it, Signature Solar. But anyway, uh, this is the process. There's a main bolt here you have to disconnect. You have to disconnect this screw, this screw right here. There's a, as I say, there's the main bolt that bolts these down to the frame inside there. And so I am going to take this apart. And uh, this thing right here, this power pulse, actually helped save these batteries for the four years we used it. Because they did not charge them properly, you know, the first year we bought it, but we got a substantial discount on it. So we've been very quite happy with this uh, lawnmower. But I think we're going to be happy once we put the lithium iron phosphate batteries in here. We are going to be not have to worry about batteries again. In fact, when the, this lawnmower dies, whenever that happens, uh, I'll be able to take those batteries out and repurpose them for someone, something else. They're good for thousands of uh, cycles, which is nothing for a lawnmower. Uh, they do cost a little bit more. I think these AGM batteries close to $200 each and the lithium iron phosphate batteries uh, time USA uh, I got uh, were $300 each so just a little bit more but I never have to worry about them again I'll let you know how it goes when we start mowing the lawn with them once I replace these and I'll show you how I'm going to replace them as I start putting it back together I have replaced the uh, uh, AGM batteries with these lithium iron phosphate. These are rated at 100 amp hours. I tested them. They're between 102 and 103 amp hours. And um, they're the perfect size. They're the right size to replace the AGM batteries. You don't have to do anything. The terminal's in the right position. And so now I'm going to re reinstall it. The only thing I have to do differently is uh, change out that connector right there to... Uh, an AGM one, which I'm going to do with the battery charger I got from uh, Signature Solar. So uh, anyway, I'll connect it and see how it goes. Everything is hooked up exactly as I took it apart. And it's always a good idea to photograph so you don't make any mistakes and you don't want to leave this off. I'm going to plug everything back in as normal. And what I am going to do with this Anderson connector right here is I'm going to put another charger right there, another cable, which I haven't done yet. I've got to make one. I might have to use some 8 millimeter longer bolts. So I'm going to take this back off because I haven't... Because remember, these wires go right through the, the center of this. There's a little plate that goes right here that fastens this down. And the little plate looks like this. It goes right underneath here. Your long bolt goes here and fastens to the frame. So, yeah, photograph it. I'm putting everything back exactly the way I took it apart, except for now I'm going to add on a charging cable because I won't be able to use that, I don't think. I'm going to look at the wiring and see if there's a positive and a negative. Uh, I don't, I, I'm talking about this right, sorry. Right. Ooh, foil up here. I'm talking about this right here. I'm going to check and see if there's a positive and negative. And since I have the cable... I've, take, I've taken the charger apart. I, I can't figure out what's wrong with it. But about a third of the uh, circuit board is dif uh, discolored. And again, they don't last forever. And unfortunately, it quit over the winter. 
and because I had a timer to come on twice a week for about an hour each just to keep these batteries topped up. I thought they would, the AGM batteries would last one more year. But my wife is the one that uses this mower, and she was complaining that they run out real quick. These, these particular ones will not run out real quick. They'll be able to mow our one and a half acres that we have to mow with this and, uh, easily. Uh, keep in mind that the uh, lithium ion phosphate batteries have a flat charging and use curves. So you can't use that meter anymore that's on the, uh, on the mower because it, it's not going to be accurate. Because it has a sharp, it drops off like a rock when it uh, starts discharging. So my recommendation is what we're going to do is um, after each mowing is just charge it and get a lithium ion, uh, ion phosphate charger and don't don't be using this one this is for a lead acid battery these um, but it would be nice if i could use that plug i tried to take it off but everything these three bolts are stripped out and i don't want to pry it out uh, since this goes uh, this particular one goes um, directly to the mowers i'm going to leave that all intact and just add on charging cables up here unless I can adapt that. I'm going to look at it and see if there's a pot. I can't tell right now because um, there's three plugs. I only need two, positive and a negative. I don't know what the third one's for. Uh, so anyway, I uh, will finish filming this once I get my charging cable hooked up. I have the Anderson connector put on. It's right here. And this is for charging. This is to operate the vehicle, the mower, and the charging is going to come out of here. So now it's time to put the batteries back in there and uh, test it out. So in conclusion, uh, what I've done is that I brought it through. There's a little hole right there. Then I put the uh, Anderson connector on. Velcroed it to this crossbar. We're not going to be able to lift up the seat for unless I'm going to do repairs on it. This is the 18 amp 48 volt lithium iron phosphate charger that uh, Signature Soldiers, Signature Solar Cells, and they, um, I think they were about $190. I'm sorry, I can't remember. The batteries were $300 plus local sales tax each. There's four of them. So that's $1,200. Let's say this was $200. Didn't need any extra wiring. The only extra thing you need to do is some Anderson connectors and uh, a little short little welding wire that I used and like extra clamps, cable, cable connectors. Uh, so there's really not. So I would imagine this was about $1,400 uh, thirty dollars this retrofit keep in mind that this is a one-time thing and you only have to do it once and then you'll be able to repurpose these batteries once this ryobi wears out but it makes a big difference my wife took it out for a spin works really good i'm happy to get a nice charger it does have a light here indicating state of charge i did top balance these cells before i put them in but again she was out mowing a little bit so we're charging it back up and we just pull that Anderson connector out here I'm sorry about the little Mickey Mouse <laughs> uh, uh, electrical tape I use but I did not want to leave these wires exposed so um, anyway it's uh, I'm very we're very happy with our decision and look at that it's already charged green light and the nice thing about the USB, time USB batteries is, you know, they all have built BMSs. Uh, so, you're not, and this thing is not going to let you overcharge it. And the BMSs are not going to over, overcharge it. But you really need to use a lithium iron phosphate charger. Do not, do not use this. Anyway, thank you for watching. Talk to you later.